Hey everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Depending on when they lived during the 14th century, some saints had the misfortune of being caught in the scandal of the Western Schism. These holy men and women were unlucky enough to see the church divided by petty disagreements for decades. Nonetheless, many were still able to accomplish great things. Today's saint, Vincent Ferrer, didn't just live to see the church reunited, but was instrumental in ending the schism. Vincent Ferrer was born around 1350, some 28 years before the Great Schism. He grew up happily in Valencia, Spain, and when he was 17, he entered a priory in the city and donned the monk's habit. He distinguished himself in both schooling and his faith and was sent to Barcelona to preach when he was still just a deacon. Vincent became famous as a preacher throughout Spain. He had a way with words that inspired conversion and prompted tepid believers to deepen their faith. It was not long, however, before the schism struck. Two popes were elected in a short period of time, Urban VI in Rome and Clement VII in Avignon. Clement, whom St. Vincent supported, would eventually be declared an anti-pope, but he was far from the most inflammatory force involved in the dispute. His successor and fellow anti-pope Peter de Luna, called Benedict XIII, was a bigger problem. Benedict XIII was determined to claim the papacy for himself. Seeking allies, he called Vincent to his side and offered him the position of bishop. Vincent declined the offer, but remained in Avignon as Benedict's advisor. Vincent was hopeful that the schism would be resolved. He advised Benedict to take any measure he could to de-escalate the conflict and restore unity. Benedict, however, was immovable, obstinate, and would not concede anything to his rival in Rome. Vincent, serving as his confessor as well as his advisor, became so stressed that it started to impact his health. He managed with difficulty to get permission to leave the court of Avignon. Starting around the year 1400, he traveled all over Spain, Italy, and the Netherlands, evangelizing with great success. Crowds gathered to hear him speak and miracles of healing were reported everywhere he went. As time wore on, those involved in the schism wanted more and more to end it, but Benedict still refused to yield an inch. Vincent tried again to convince him, but could not. Prompted by those who wanted to put the conflict to rest, Vincent declared that because Benedict had made himself an obstacle to the church's unity, the faithful would be justified if they stopped supporting him. Benedict was eventually deposed and excommunicated in 1417, and a single new pope replaced the contesting ones. Thanks to the combined effort of many who worked together for the good of the church, the schism was finally brought to a close, just two years before Vincent's death. Sometimes one of the hardest things to do is admit that we've been wrong. Vincent made a pretty huge mistake by backing Benedict during the schism. He recognized in the end what was best for everyone. We can learn from this period of history and from Vincent that stubbornness should be avoided. St. Vincent Ferrer, pray for us.